Welcome to Robotic Bronchoscopy. At this moment, I'm going to explain for you the uh, robotic bronchoscopy procedure that will be done based on the CAT scan finding that discussed with you. Robotic bronchoscopy is different from the previous bronchoscopy that you used to do, all run by the council that you see. The procedure usually planned by taking the CAT scan that done for the patient and uploaded on a computer with artificial intelligence to help identifying the uh, nodule on that computer. As you see, the uh, computer will extract the airways as what we call the bronchial tree. And then we can zoom in and find our target, which one of the nodules, for example, as you see on this CAT scan. After we find the uh, bronchial tree, we move to labeling that nodule. When we label the nodule, the computer also will identify that as the target. And label it as the blue circle. That also will help us finding it through the bronchial tree. Now we have the target and we have the bronchial tree. The computer now create the GPS guidance, how to drive through the main airway to the bifurcations and turns in the airways until we reach that target. As you see, the computer also gives us a purple border to let us know where is the pleura, which is the border of the lung. Before the procedure, we review the pathway in a 3D virtual model as extracted from the CT scan, and we can make a virtual drive through the airway to the target. When we perform the procedure now, we combine both the information that we created with the virtual model, as you saw, with the real-time airway of the patient. So while we are performing, we can see on the left the virtual map and on the right, the real airway. On this example is a model of silicon pathway to drive through to get to the target. While we're driving, we get a campus also to know where's the, the front from the back and from the side to the inner side. So it can guide us when we reach farther in the airway, as you see here, to know exactly where we should we go and where we should drive. That all controlled by the council, as you see on the left side of the screen to help us getting to the target and lock on it before performing any further testing to know that we are in the right area. When we see that we are close to the target by the driving, we move to next step using ultrasound that is a wire and with ultrasound probe as you see and we through push it through that catheter and see it that we are close or in the target. Another confirmation tool we use is a 3D CT scan. While the patient in the procedure, we perform, perform a spin of the CAT scan to help us find where is our catheter and how close it is to the uh, target. As you see in this example, the CAT scan done during the procedure and confirm that we are in that nodule that we were going after. When both tools confirm that we are close or in the target, we perform biopsies by needles or by forceps 
in this example is a forceps as you see it's opening up on the right side and taking a piece from that target on the left we have the review with the pathologist in the room to tell us where is the malignant cells or what cells we can see thank you for watching and if you have any further questions please write them down for the day of the procedure so we can go over them hope you have